Gentlemen, welcome back to the Microwave Lab. I have a, I apologize for the noise here. I'm just picking up uh, static noise here for uh, for testing. And I had a little bit of an idea, and I wanted to to share it. So right now I have, uh, I have the oscilloscope connected to just to the output of the speaker here. Nothing, nothing too fancy with some um, probes. And I have a, I'm running a um, a fast Fourier transform of the uh, output that's going to the speaker. The sound coming out of the speaker. So I'll, I'll turn turn this down just a little bit. I don't know what that what that'll sound like on camera, but um, so fast Fourier transform is a, a frequency domain measurement. So we have frequency on the x-axis, and then it's a um, uh, I don't know what the units are vertically, but it's just a uh, just a relative scale. I think it's just linear uh, uh, voltage. But uh, anyway, so. I was thinking about static and white noise like this that appears on your speaker when uh, obviously we use the squelch function and we turn we turn it up until it uh, the noise cuts out. But I was thinking about thinking about this noise and and uh, filtering as I was as I was sitting here. And I was actually wrong in my other videos when I said that um, when I was doing tests at uh, modulation tests at one kilohertz because I thought that. Uh, that was included in the register of the human voice, but it turns out the human voice only goes up to about 300 hertz uh, And so that got me thinking about this white noise and I was thinking of a way we could possibly filter it out now I know of some radios that include uh, low-pass filtering in the um, In the circuitry and I assume that's done after it's demodulated From AM but before it's amplified and sent to the external speaker uh, but I was thinking, I don't know if the Bearcat 980 has any of that, or maybe a little bit built in. I know some radios have a switch, or it's a it's an option that you can turn on and off. Um, I don't know if that's included here. It's at least it's not as an option. It might be built in. But what I was thinking is that would be it's somewhat hard to integrate on the board. But what I was thinking is maybe uh, we could just use a a low pass filter on the output wires that go directly to the speaker. So if we look at the noise here, I have this uh, vertical marker here set at one kilohertz. And so you can see the noise sort of spans the whole the whole range here. But if I if I just talk into the mic, I just key up, and then I talk here and say audio check here, radio check here, radio check here, radio check check, radio check. You can see those blips are well below one kilohertz. Uh, so yeah, obviously, if you're listening to someone coming that's coming on the air, then uh, their voice will be well below a kilohertz. Like I said, it only goes up to about 300 hertz, uh, the human voice anyway. So. So I'm thinking if we can, if I can implement a uh, a low pass filter with a with a corner frequency of one kilohertz or maybe even 500 hertz or something along those lines, uh, then I should be able to filter out a lot of this white noise uh, that's coming right out of the speaker. Now, like I said, this is going to be we're we're going to be filtering a powered signal, uh, you know, somewhat of a powered signal here that has already been amplified to go out to the speaker. So that's not ideal. Like I said, it would be best to um, filter it before it was amplified. But uh, this, you know, this could be a ta uh, just tacked on to the to the speaker wires here. So it's just a thought. I'm gonna s try to design one and see how it works. Um, I need some somewhat beefy components to handle the, the power that'll be coming out of here, and it's not too bad. I mean, the speaker's only rated for it says on here with the glare you can't really see. It's rated for five watts, and it's a 16 ohm speaker. So the considerations for that will be we want to make sure that we don't change the impedance that the radio sees too much because that could cause. Um, no, there would be inefficiencies in the um, in the power. I can turn this. I can turn this down now. That would cause an inefficiency in the way the power is transmitted due to max power transfer and impedance matching. Yada yada. We don't want to get into that, but we don't want to. We don't want to change this, this 16 ohms too much. Um, and the other consideration is, uh, like I said, the power. It's a, a power signal, so we need some some beefy components. Uh, and we also um, we we don't want to use um, if we're using. I'm thinking of a simple. Uh, low-pass filter um, and with just a resistor and a capacitor or maybe um, maybe a few other com you know few resistors and capacitors but um, we don't want to use too much resistance because that'll um, that'll burn off power as the signals coming out out of the wires and going to the speaker and then we'll end up with a quieter uh, sound so we'll have to crank up the radio and then you know that's that's not really ideal we want to minimize that loss so that's just a thought I'm gonna work on this you know maybe Maybe people out here have done that. It was just a, a thought I had myself while I was here screwing around. So, um, you know, just an idea to, to try out if you have the, you know, it's just a few simple components for a, um, for a low-pass filter. So maybe uh, if you have the components, you can, you can try it out for yourself. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, good luck if you try it yourself.